Hi, budget friends. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a simple monthly budget in Excel step by step. And this is perfect for beginners, whether you're trying to save more, pay off debt, or just get organized. This is the perfect place to start. So to begin, let's open a blank Excel sheet and set up a simple monthly budget together. First, we'll create these column headers. Category, planned, actual, and difference. These columns will help us compare what we plan to spend, what we actually spend, and how much we're over or under. Now it's time to add some categories. You'll want to add different types of income and separately expenses. These are just some sample categories. Feel free to add or remove categories that fit your life. Now let's add a total income row, a total expenses row, and a remaining row. Now let's clean things up just a little bit. Now let's add some formulas so Excel can do the math for us. In cell D2, enter this formula, equals C2 minus B2. You're going to want to copy this formula for all income. Now for the expense categories, you're going to want to type in this formula, equals B six minus C six. And you're going to copy that down to all of your expenses. This will show whether you're over or under budget for each category. Next for totals, we're going to include a different formula. It's also a very simple formula. It's equal sum, open parentheses, and then you're just going to select these two cells. Close parentheses, and you're going to copy that over for your income. And then you're going to do the same for total expenses, which is equal sum, parentheses, select all of the expenses and close parentheses, enter. And then you're going to copy that over again. And now for the remaining formula for remaining. This one is also a simple formula. It is equals. You're going to take the total income under planned and you're going to subtract the total expenses under planned and hit enter. And then you're going to copy this over between planned and actual. And for the difference under column D, you're going to type in equals C16 minus B16, enter. And those are all the formulas. Now let's add some numbers, fill it out, and see if all of our formulas are working. 
Okay, it looks like all of our formulas are working. Now let's do a little bit of formatting. First, I want to make sure that all of my dollar amounts are going to look like dollar amounts. So I'm going to go up here and change everything for the dollar amounts to currency. So now it looks like actual dollar amounts. And it is a little bit hard to read. There's just a whole bunch of numbers. So I'm going to highlight the header and I'm going to give it a different color. We're going to make it a nice blue. And I want the remaining to be also highlighted. We'll do the same blue. And I'm going to select my header, my total income row, my total expenses row, and my remaining row. And those should all be bold. And then I'm going to take my total row and my total expenses row. And I'm going to just change that so that those are gray. I'm also going to change the font. My favorite font is Century Gothic. And I think I want to have the headers aligned with the dollar amounts. And so now that's looking much cleaner and easier to read. I recommend saving a blank copy and making a new sheet or file each month. This way you can track changes and spot patterns over time. I've linked a free template you can download below to follow along or customize as your own. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more easy Excel and budgeting tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.